everyone, it's Miss Carol, and we're in week nine of our Sunday School Google Classroom. And this week's scripture packet passage is from Exodus 20. And our lesson this week are the Ten Commandments. Now you've probably heard of the Ten Commandments before. Uh, maybe you know that the Ten Commandments is a list of rules that God gave to us. But did you know that everyone who loves God, trusts God, and wants to serve God has to follow these rules? It's true. If we aren't willing to try our very best to follow all of these rules, then how in the world can we ever show God that we really truly love him? But sometimes rules are hard to remember. Sometimes rules are, well, rules. They aren't easy. They aren't fun. And sometimes we just don't like them. Imagine for a moment that your mom or your dad gave you the following list of rules and you had to follow them every day. One, clean your room every day day. Wash your clothes every day. That was the second one. Third, read five books every day. And four, go to school for 12 hours every day. I bet you wouldn't like this list of rules very much. Maybe your parents have talked to you about the rules in your house. Maybe your mom, your mom or dad has said this to you. No, I'm sorry, you can't do that. Or, I really need you to do this for me. There are always rules in life. Your teacher has rules in your classroom. Your grandma has rules when you stay over at her house, maybe have a sleepover. Your dad has rules when you help him with the yard work. Everywhere we go, there are rules. So it makes sense that God would have rules for how we ought to follow him, love one another, and serve him too. Here's some of the Ten Commandments. Think with me, think with me for a moment about how hard or how easy each of these rules might be. Number one, I am the only God. You must not have any other gods except me. Two, you must never say my name unless you are actually speaking to me. You might have heard adults use God's name before they say a bad word. Or maybe you've heard someone say, for God's sake, or for Christ's sake, this is using God's name in a bad way. We should, we should only ever use God's name if we are really, truly talking to him about things. Three, you must not kill another person. Seems pretty simple, right? But sometimes when people get really mad, they forget about God and they stop thinking clearly with their brains and they do terrible things. God made these rules to protect us and to protect other people as well. Don't hurt others, love others. Four, be satisfied with everything you have. There's no need to steal. There's no need to be jealous because someone else has something you don't. And remember, God has given you everything you need. These are just a few of the Ten Commandments, but I, I think you can see. On one hand, these rules God gave us should be pretty easy. But when we really stop and think about what it takes to follow each of these commandments, we realize they can be harder than we first thought. That is why we need God. Yes, God expects us to follow his rules, 
but God also promises to help us follow the rules. So when rules seem like they are just too much or too hard or too boring, just reach out and ask him to help you obey his commandments for your life. Well, Ten Commandments are awesome, everybody. So I want you to work hard this week with looking at Exodus 20, doing your lesson, and do your Bible verses. We've been very blessed. We've had a couple of kids do more than one. Some have done four and five. So if you've not done a Bible verse yet, I encourage you to memorize, start memorizing and then send me a, a video that you've learned it, you've memorized it, and I will send a reward to you, as you know. So everyone, get going on your week nine lesson and the Ten Commandments. And remember, God loves you. We need to follow his rules because rules are important. And until the next time I see you, it's blessings to you all.